So we made it down to the ultralights area just to hang out with Steve at Aircraft Specialty Flight Lines. And I think we just made it back from there. It's a long walk. No, well, Oshkosh has tram, so we made it just fine. But um, sat down with Steve. Uh, we talk a lot about Steve on this channel just because of how how much he's it's helped our build. Um, the, his his products have helped us move along significantly faster. Yes. So. Uh, we talked a lot about the products that he's been offering for the last year or two and some of the new products that are now being offered that uh, we're really looking forward to uh, add into our airplane. So uh, our rule of thumb is if Steve sells it, buy it. Um, if it fits our airplane, <laughs> I think we've gone all in on, um, you know, just one of each. Um, and, you know, we're, we're, we're excited with all these mods that we're putting on the plane. So. Let's learn more about what uh, Aircraft Specialty Flight Line has and uh, how Steve's here to help. So it's been one year since we randomly stopped by this booth all the way down in ultralights. Yep. Why are you all the way down in ultralights? Well, you know, we're down here. We were able to uh, spread out a little bit, kind of uh, showcase our display and uh, some of the items we have. But really, yeah. the nice thing about being down here is when people come down here, they want to see these products. Yes. And so we are able to really spend some time with each individual and spend some time talking about it and really showcasing what we have. So genius move. And this mock-up is we walked by, um, we people told us, come come see you. Right. Uh, didn't really know why we needed to come see you, but this mock-up in like two minutes told us everything we needed. Well, that's one of the reasons we built this, because we have a lot of products on the website yeah. try to make it really intuitive or uh, builders to understand. But putting it all together in a mock-up like this really allows us to let you touch it, feel it, kind of see what you're getting. So um, this mock-up is one of the more advanced type setups that we do. We've got a full automotive fuel injection, which a lot of builders are not doing. Okay. Um, but it does still showcase all the different products that we do. Yeah. For instance, the CNC bend rigid tubes, um, all of our flex hose assemblies, all this stuff ready to drop into the aircraft so you can plumb your entire system in a day. Yeah. And the biggest thing for us is we first like, okay, we're doing the fuel system. Uh, we were really interested in the brake system. And what I loved about the fuel system, uh, and there's a lot more details to it than I'm about to mention, but when it came time to install it, you got to install it and go through the stock plans going, no, nope, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. And like pages and pages went by and that just felt so good for us. It just made it so easy. Not to mention the benefits that you get over it had we done all that work. Well, and that's kind of our goal with it. So our goal is to make it simpler for builders, right? So we have a lot of different product lines, but making it easier for builders to install the components that they want to, that they may not want to fabricate themselves. Yep. And I kind of trust that a lot better than if we bent it and put our own ends on it. Um, so many new skills that we learn as builders. So we kind of went all in on our build. Um, I, I think it was whereas the tie between the fuel system and the brake system was um, our start in place. And then from there, we just said, yeah, we'll take all the options. So the control approach, rudder pedals, which you worked with Paul to make that happen. Yep. Um, it's beautiful system. And we talked a lot about that on our channel. Uh, the Behringer brake system, what, why, why, why spend the extra money over stock variants? Well, the Behringer brake system is a fantastic system. So um, it provides a lot of benefits to builders. Um, number one, they look really pretty. Yeah. So we all know if it looks good, it's going to add at least kind of 15 knots to your knob speed in here. Absolutely. A hundred percent. So we've got that. Um, but the, the Behringer system is also a little bit easier to maintain than the stock system because you have sealed bearings on it. Mm -hmm. So when you do your conditional inspections, you don't have to go yeah. and repack your wheel bearing. That's what sold me. Yep. And and me too. I'll be on the other side of the hangar working on an airplane, you know, with my dad. We'll be on opposite sides. They'll be doing wheel bearings that somehow grease gets in my hair. I don't yeah. know how it happens. So, it's insane. Yeah. You know, so, uh, so that's one of the benefits. The Behringer system is a little bit lighter. Yeah. Uh, it also has tubeless tires. Yeah. Tubeless tires are fantastic up. Because with the tube tires, if you end up having a lot, you have to jack your lane up, pull the wheel off, and replace it. Yep. With the tubeless tires, uh, if you're on the road, you can use a fix it flat, get yourself home. So nice. that's a benefit. Um, the other thing with the Behringer system is you have the option of the Sensair, which yep. is Bluetooth tire pressure monitoring. So rather than having to pull your wheel pants off in order to check the tire pressures, you can actually Bluetooth it right to an app on your phone. Cool. And that's one thing we haven't purchased yet, but it's easy to add. It is easy to add. It can be done yep. with any tire change. Yep. It's internal to the wheel. It just slides over the rim. 
and then we put the tire back on and re it. As of July of 23, do you know what the, the standard price on the Sensera is? I don't know that. Okay. Mechanic. Well, we'll find that out at, um, at Behringer. Would you just order that straight from Behringer, or do you we offer can, it? We can offer it. All. Okay. Yep. Easy peasy. So, one-stop shop. Everything you need right here in Aircraft Specialty Flight Lines. Um, so, what are you doing in your spare time? Me? Well, I'm busy. Busy? So, yeah, it's busy. So, um, I'm building uh, building a carbon cup. Okay. So, we're working on uh, building that, and then also creating, you know, products for that. Um, I have a family with two kids, so that keeps me busy, and I also have five. Oh, so you only got six full-time jobs? I've only got six full-time okay. jobs. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know that feeling. How many different aircraft lines do you support through this? Um... We support all of it. So, basically, you know, Vans, obviously, being the largest manufacturer, yep. they're the ones that we have the most products for. Sure. Um, but we support anything. So, if you're building, you know, a one-off aircraft yep. we'll build custom lines for you excellent if you're building a vans rv and you say this is i want a brake line kit for it we probably already have the data yep. so truth is there's no airplane that we don't support it just for some lines we have more drop-in options who are some of the common ones carbon cub you're working with now yeah you know the common ones since i'm still building the carbon cub i'm still working on on designing stuff for that so we don't really have too many lines available for okay. that but the more common ones are the van the aircraft Rands uh, and Zenith. Those are probably the Beautiful. most uh, common lines that we cool. produce kits for. And you've built a Vans aircraft in your career, right? I have. I built a, a RV-10 completed, flew it for seven years uh, before I sold it. Um, I built most of an RV-12 also. And then uh, we joke that we're part of a first flight on a daily basis because yeah. of all the stuff we do with the rest of it. Absolutely. So. Uh, the other thing I love is uh, the support. Uh, we've had questions. Uh, I think you mentioned it on the channel. It's like, I'm going to send him an email. We'll get a response in a day or two. We'll continue. And my phone's ringing. It's like, okay, we're diving in. We're going to we're, we're, we're gonna figure out how to do things. Uh, you, you, you stand behind. Um, it's not, to me, it's not even just standard business. Like, you want to be a good business person. You care about builders. Well, we, we do. You know, we recognize that uh, this is not a high to five job. Yeah. So I'm a builder, and I have problems sometimes at nine at night. You yeah. know, when I'm working on the airplane, but we recognize other builders too, because most builders aren't able to work during traditional yep. days on their airplane. They're they're at their real job. They sell but we try to support that and accommodate that as much as we can. So well, we we very much appreciate everything that uh, you've done, the thought you put into the system. Uh, it's a well thought out system that uh, we're looking forward to flying with, and it's going to be fantastic. Well, we're we're looking forward to, you know, seeing seeing your airplane progress yep. and get completed and. You know, you bring that up about a well thought out system. That's one of the really neat things is we take feedback from builders. Yep. And we're always refining and improving and creating new products. Yeah. So, you know, I'm coming up with something that you would like that would make your build easier. It's probably something that'll make other builders' lives easier. So we absolutely take that into consideration as we develop new product lines. And speaking of new products, uh, the uh, alternate air door, uh, you were showing that to me earlier, shot some B-roll of it. Uh, talk, talk, talk to us a little bit about that. So the alternate air door, it was basically designed for two purposes. Number one, um, you know, the standard alternate air door requires you to take some wire and bend it around. And by the time builders get to the, that stage of their build, a lot of them just want to be able to bolt the thing in and yep. make it easy. So we developed that product to make it easier for builders just to finalize that. For the other thing is that the stock alternate air door, when you pull it, you have to pull the cowling on to reset. Um, now, you're not going to pull that door very often. Right. Uh, but if you do have to pull howling off to reset it, whereas the one we designed, you don't have to do that. You can act cut it as much as you can. So a little bit better and uh, easier to install? A little easier to install. It uh, Again, it looks nice, so that's yep. another five knots for you right there. There we go. So pretty soon you're going to have a 300-knot airplane. Yeah, we're going to break the sound barrier right. if, by the time I'm done with yep. this airplane. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you for everything you do yeah. for us and uh, everyone else in the community. We really appreciate you. Well, we appreciate you guys. Thank so, you. Thank you.